Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video and today I'm here to share the Alter File folder swap that I received from my partner Wendy. And I've had this in my hands for a little bit. I already actually went through it and took some pictures of everything for the, the, the group that we are in in Facebook just to share everything that she sent. But um, I didn't have time to record a video until today. I've been a little bit busy, lots of family stuff going on. We've had a wedding and we've had a funeral in our family. And then my husband and I also helped take pictures for my nephew who is going to be a senior. And so we took his pictures and been working on editing them. So we've been kind of busy with family stuff the last week. And I finally had a chance to sit down in my craft room and start going through and recording some videos that I've kind of been meaning to record and this is one of them. So first of all, I want to say Wendy was an awesome partner. I really enjoyed swapping with her. And again, we were to create an altered file folder. And so here's the cute little card that Wendy sent. And I will link below in the description box, uh, box the altered file folder that I sent her if you are interested in checking that out. And Wendy did have um, a bunch of things tied with this really pretty little ribbon here. And so I did take that off earlier when I took photos of it. Um, but a really fun little ribbon that I think I could make a flower that looks very similar to this, which she also sent these fun little flowers with the bling, which I just love. They're a perfect color for me. They're vintage. So I can't wait to use those on a project. And as you can see, there's the Alted File folder. She has a fun little goodie in a bag, some really fun trim, some other fun stuff in the bags, which I'll open up. She also made like a little folio type folder, which I'll also open up, and then some other fun little gifts. So I'm just going to start off with the Altered File folder. And it is stunning. She used, I presume, maybe a napkin or something that she decoupaged on top of some lace doilies. Not lace doilies, but you know, paper lace doilies. So you can kind of see that. And she decorated them up a little bit by adding little crowns and some embellishments on their, their cute little heads there. She also has a gorgeous little cluster down in this corner of some flowers and there's some trims, which I just really love some of these trims that she used on this. Um, with the beads and the pearls and the sequins. They're just gorgeous. Some more fun little trim there. You can see the little cupid that she added with a bow behind it. She also added these really fun little tags that she made from tea bags with photos in them. And there's like, you know, two of them attached on here. So that was really fun. And all sorts of fun trim at the bottom. There's several layers. There's this button trim, this little brown trim, a gorgeous couple of lace trims. There's this one right here, this beautiful one. And then it looked like she used like maybe a pillowcase that had some crocheted edging on it. So very fun. So that was kind of, and then up at the top, again, I'll just show you all the gorgeous layers of trim. Again, several layers. There's also a tool layer, which I don't think that'll show up on camera. And some trim and some embellishments across the top of it. So that's the front side. And then the back side, she created a beautiful little pocket. Again, there's some different trims on the sides and some embellishments at the bottom. And at the top, she had this fun little clip right here that she added. So I'll take that off. And in this pocket right here, you can kind of see the fun little cotton trim that she used on the back of the folder. She has some wonderful vintage photographs, which I love these just of, you know, families and the baby. And look at this distinguished gentleman. He's very handsome. And another little baby photo and a beautiful portrait of this woman. So lots of fun little vintage photos. So thank you again for that so much, Wendy. I love all those. I'll definitely be able to use them in some projects. And then I'm just going to turn it back over to the front again. And then she stuck 
a couple of fun little things inside of the folder. So I'll pull those out real quick so we can look at those. And so she included some fun little embellishment stickers. Um, the first couple of ones are some Primo ones, which I love these little like spray, bead spray stickers I don't, with the pearls on little flowers on these. These are really fun to use on paper projects. And then another one in some gorgeous vintage colors. It'd also be really nice on a fall project. So I love those. And these are fun. These are those lace stickers that look like butterflies. And I love those too. Very fun stickers. And then here's some jewel border stickers in pink, which is a nice little shabby color. I love those and they're super long as you can see on the camera. So those will be fun. And then these are really nice. These are some fall stickers in a fall themes. They have like, you know, hello fall, you know, grateful, that kind of stuff on them. And I'll try and hold it up kind of at an angle because I know that the light's glaring a little bit, but some really nice stickers. So that's what was inside of the file folder. And then she also included some other fun little embellishments like this little shadow box layer squares. And this will definitely be fun. You know, it says it's like little sh shadow box layers, but I'm wondering like down the road if I find the right box, which I have quite a few boxes in my stash. I think this would be fun to put on top of a box and add like some sort of photos or something behind it. And then of course you can decorate it. If I decide to go shabby, I can like paint it white or I can leave it this color if I want to go a little bit more vintage. So it would be fun to try and figure that out and find a box because I can t totally see myself using this on top of a box and decorating it. You know, in the background, it looks like on the back side that there's a sample, but it was circle windows instead of the square windows. So um, that looks like a lot of fun to try and use that. And then she included some paper. And I'm not quite sure which brand of paper this is, but it's just kind of some nice vintage looking paper. And I love like graphs and line paper. I use those so much in my junk journals for um, journaling. So always happy to get paper like that for my collection. I don't know if maybe this was some Tim Holtz paper. I don't know. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but it also reminds me of a paper pad, like some Seven Gypsies paper pads or some paper pads that I've seen in the past at Hobby Lobby, but they don't carry that brand anymore. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do love a lot of these papers in here. Um, like I said, especially the ones with the lines and the graphs, because those are so much fun to use on tags for writing in your journals. So thank you again for that, Wendy. And I got to show you guys this. So, you know, on the altered file folder, she had those altered tea bags that she did. Well, she also included a couple, a few more for me to play with. And I just love these. It's one of those things I've actually wanted to try was the altering these tea bags, but I've never done it before. So it's actually kind of nice to have, have a few samples to try to create these. So I love those. And then she has some cute little embellishments on the end of them with the little doily fragments. And of course they were in a nice little bag. And then I think I'll show you, this was the other thing that she included, this really nice little like lace collar. And I think this is going to be perfect. I wanna do, and I have more than enough stuff to do it, but I think this would be perfect for um, creating like a boho type themed journal and I want to do a fabric and lace one and a paper one and I have lots of stuff already gathered for it. I just need to sit down and actually create it but this is going to go into that pile because I think this would be perfect like on one of those pages you could frame something or you could cut up a little bit of this one but I think this would be stunning on something like that. It's just a beautiful little you know, rosette type collar. So thank you again so much for that, Wendy. I'm not quite sure what to show you guys next. If I show you what's in the bags or the little folio. So maybe I'll show you the little folio that she created. 
So first of all, she wrapped it in this beautiful little doily and she closed it with a pin. So let me see if I can get that off here. And again, this is stunning with the blues and the golds on that. Just a beautiful pin. Probably set that on one of my shelves for a little while and then I'll probably use it on something down the road. But this one also might work for my boho themed journal too that I want to make. That would make kind of a nice statement piece because that's definitely a, a beautiful statement piece. And so here's the wonderful little doily that she sent. And I love the shape of that one. It's a fun one. And like I said, she created this fun little folio thing, and there, it's full of stuff. So um, on the front, she included a fun little pen, and it looks like this is like an ink pen for calligraphy. So it'll be fun to try and use that. And then here's what the front looks like. It has this beautiful little nest on it and little flower behind it. And on the back side, she has a pocket that she created. So I'll go ahead and take out all the items that she included. And she filled this thing full of stuff. So there is, this fell out somewhere, in, and I'm not quite sure where it originally went, but it's some fun little um, pennant paper, little sticky pad. And she included this fun little piece which that'll be fine because you could almost put it over almost any type of paper you know and still see your clock numbers you know it's a little acrylic piece a gorgeous little flower a little bundle of tags that she put some ribbon at the top with this gorgeous key on it so I'll definitely be able to use those in some of my future junk journals so thank you for that. And these are fun. These are little photos. And I'm wondering if these aren't Tim Holtz ones. I'm not 100% sure. But fun to use those for all sorts of different projects. So that's what was in the back pocket. And I'll just show you the how she created that little pocket. It's really nice. It almost looks like a little file folder on the back of it. And then on the inside. So it flips up. And she has a little sentiment, and then she used some little Velcro is what she used to hold it closed. And she has this cute little paper clip with a little embellishment, a little paper embellishment, which I love that. I love anything with birds and butterflies on it. And then again, this was chock full of stuff. I'm just going to kind of hold it right here. I can't get it all on screen, so... Um, I'll try and set it right there. And so there was a pocket right here that you guys can see. And again, she had a ton of goodies in there and, and embellishments. So kind of some clear acetate items with the butterflies and the flowers. Here's another gorgeous one with the little bird's nest. And here's a fun little applique of a butterfly. I love that. And then here's some delicate um, leaves, like little skeleton leaves. But these are fun to add to projects. You can, you know, like um, use like Mod Podge or something similar like that and glue them onto something. They're also fun to put in behind acetate windows in projects. She has a fun little tag that says hello there. Then she has a little envelope here with, okay, so this is ink for the pen, that calligraphy pen that I showed you guys. So she included some ink for me. So thank you for that. And so that's going to be fun trying. I don't have the best handwriting, but we're going to give it a go. And then this is really pretty with the little door that you open up and there's a beautiful little vintage lady behind the window. So that's kind of fun, or behind the door. And then um, she has a couple more little items in here. And so she has this beautiful um, notebook, which I love this notebook. This will be perfect for my purse with a little 
gems on it and on the inside a gorgeous little paper butterfly and it looks like she has another one in there love those so it looks like there was three in there how cute are those and then just a little you know little hanging thing so you could hang it I guess um, but also probably use that as a bookmark if you wanted to like turn it over on the spot where you had your notes listed. So I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you again, Wendy, so much for being my partner. And then I'm going to open up these cute little bags. First of all, I have to tell you, I love these bags. They have like the vintage French writing on them. And there's the Eiffel Tower. So these are so much fun. Um, I really like them. Not quite sure where she got them, but... Um, I do love them. So inside of this first one, she used a little clip and she gathered a whole bunch of fun little ribbon trims. Again, these would be perfect for my boho journals when I get to them. Some nice, bright, beautiful colors on those. So that's what was in the first little bag. And then... Um, we'll do the next bag here. And she had them chocked full. So this one has a ton of different laces in it. Some beautiful, like this is kind of like an insertion style lace, but it already has a piece in the middle. This one would be fun to make flowers out of, I think. And then here's another insertion lace where you just weave another ribbon through the middle of it and you can do it to whatever color you need for your project. It's a beautiful piece of lace. I love this one. This is gorgeous. Down the road I want to make another linen and lace like heirloom type um, fabric book and this would be perfect for that. So I'm going to hold on to that for when I get to that project. I don't know if you guys are like me where you have so many projects in your mind. And so I have little piles in my craft room that I put um, future projects when I get to them or when I'm inspired to finally create them. And then she's sharing some of her beautiful little appliques that came off of a wedding dress, I presume. So thank you for that. These are fun. They have beautiful sequins and some beads on it. So here's another one. This one's quite large. So that'll be definitely fun to use on projects. And then I think I presume this was some lace that came off of a this is like a wedding wedding dress type lace. I love that one. It's a beautiful color. And then let's see what is in this final one. Like I said, she had these bags chock full of stuff. So definitely a very generous partner. And these are fun. Um, these ones that would definitely be able to use for the boho journal. But I'll show you this gorgeous piece first. Which I love this. This would be perfect. I was talking about that. Um, heirloom linen and lace type journal or fabric book. And this would be perfect to make a pocket in it. See if I can get it so that the flowers are going the right way here. But that is stunning. Thank you. I love that. It's beautiful. And these are very fun. Um, this is a beautiful brown vintage color. This one would also work nice on like a vintage project also. A vintage style type project with the color that this one is. gorgeous. And this one is that peacock lace. I've, I've had it before in, I believe, white, but I've never had this one before in a different color. So again, I definitely see this using on my boho themed stuff down the road. 
and hopefully I'll get to that project, you know, soon. I always say, oh, I'm going to get to it this year, and it seems like I've put it off. But if I don't get to it before Christmas, I, it's definitely going to be on my radar to try and start working on those next year if I don't get to it before then. And this one is also a beautiful little dangle trim. Look at that one. A lovely teal color. So thank you so much. And I think that's everything that Wendy sent me. Again, thank you so much, Wendy, for being my partner. I really enjoyed um, swapping with you and being your partner. I love everything you sent. I'll definitely be able to use it. And a few of the items I can't wait to to start using. And a couple of them, like I said, I'm going to save for some future projects I have in mind. But um, I don't believe Wendy has a YouTube channel, but Wendy, if for some reason you watch this and you do have a YouTube channel, if you will pop it below in your comment, and then that way I can add it to my description box just so people can check your channel out if you happen to have a channel. But I don't think you do, but I'm not sure on that. But again, thank you, Wendy, so much for being my partner, and thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.